You know, spring is not supposed to arrive for about another week or so, but it has certainly felt like spring across much of southwestern Alberta today. Jeanette Roche is now with all of the weather details. Jeanette, I saw my neighbors cleaning out their barbecues over the weekend. It appears as though barbecue season has arrived here in Lethbridge. Oh, that is so exciting to hear, Hal. I think that we're all pretty tired of winter and we're saying bring on the spring. And as we're looking at these temperatures, it's definitely bringing on the spring-like conditions, that's for sure. We've got uh, lots of double digits here up to the teens as we get to the end of the week there. So 10 for a high on Tuesday, 9. There's our coldest day of the week, not too bad at all. Mainly clear skies as well. We're up to 13 degrees for both Thursday and Friday. And then on the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, we're seeing that high of 14 degrees. So all the way up to those mid teens, which is well above average for this time of year. So the average high five degrees, average low minus seven, 21. That was our high temperature that happened back in 2005. And the coldest was minus 36. That is very cold for this time of year. That happened back in 1951. Okay, sun rose this morning at 752. We're seeing that change there because of uh, the, the springing ahead. So now we're in the seven o'clock hour again. And then there you go, sunset at 732. So we're getting so close to that 12 hour mark. We're seeing 11 hours. 40 minutes of daylight. Okay, on the west coast tomorrow, we're seeing a pair of nines, Victoria and Vancouver. Victoria is seeing a 60% chance of showers tomorrow, up to 40K winds, 50K winds as you get into the Juan de Fuca Strait there. And Vancouver seeing a 60% chance of showers in the morning, going to clear up, gonna see actually, actually see the sun shine in the afternoon, partly cloudy skies there. Six for a high in Edmonton tomorrow, and nine for a high in Calgary, partly cloudy skies across Alberta tomorrow. As we get into the rest, of the prairies we're seeing mainly cloudy skies in Saskatoon minus one for a high Regina seeing a 30% chance of showers three and increasing clouds in Winnipeg with a high of two degrees as we get into the central part of the country we're actually seeing a lot more clear skies out here lots of sunshine 14 for a high in Toronto 11 in Ottawa and high of nine in Montreal as we get into the Maritimes this is where we're seeing kind of a mixed bag of precipitation so we're seeing flurries mixed with showers both in Fredericton and Halifax tomorrow three degrees in both of those cities. High of two tomorrow in Charlottetown, seeing another two to four centimeters of snow tomorrow morning. And then high of two degrees in St. John's. We're having a rainfall warning in effect uh, tonight into Tuesday morning. Still expecting five to 10 millimeters of rain to fall tomorrow morning. Also a wind warning in effect there. So that should be ending Tuesday, but what we're seeing is up to 80 K winds and even up to hundred kilometers per hour along certain parts of the coast there. So that's what's happening. There's your weather.